hello viewers today i'll give you some tips and tricks that how you can get rid of this the uh, this famous problem out of memory problem in the matlab i'll quickly start with some examples so that you can uh, compare your code uh, with these examples and uh, you can learn some tips uh, so that you can uh, reduce the uh, variable space uh, to make the more variable space to work or uh, efficiently use the memory of your uh, laptop or your personal computer or your workstation so since i'll start with uh, some uh, basics command which you should know first in order to understand this video the basic command is memory since when you write memory on this it will give you this four outcomes uh, this will the last will give you uh, the uh, the ram of your laptop since uh, my uh, laptop ram is uh, 4 gb since showing the 4000 mb this is correct then uh, this is the maximum possible array uh, which i can write is is of a size uh, is approximately 2 gb and for the total array available is 3. approximately 3.5 mb and i start the matlab already it already occupied 300 mb approximately data so this whose zeros command i command ones command sparse save load command i am going to use to make you uh, that to make you understand that how you can reduce your uh, memory in order to avoid such type of uh, messages so i'll start with the first you will start with the uh, memory command you can see that this is uh, your outcome uh, of your uh, uh, available uh, ram so you can start uh, choosing the variable in such a way that uh, you can uh, have a space for the new variable so since i'll take one example that if i start with p is equal to 1 you can see that when you write whose it will give you the the size uh, which this variable has occupied in your ram is approximately 8 bytes so if i start with the bigger variable like zeros if i use and write 1000 10000 approximately it means that 10 10000 rows and 10000 columns and put enter and again write whose you can see that now the true variable is space in your workspace and uh, the first is t and the size is problem in this and approximately 800 mb space is taken by this t so you are left with you can see that when you write memory again it will give you the left memory in this now the memory is reduced you can compare the these two values the available memory is this and the maximum is this if you write again t1 the new and taken zeros of the same size and put enter now are you write whose the size is taken by t1 is is the same since i have took the same and you start with the whose uh, sorry start with the memory you can see that now the memory is reduced and it's only link start with again zeros so since when you start with your any numerical code or any code and if you want you initially assign the three zeros only three zeros of this size it will give you this out of memory option obviously you are left with only 600 something and you want 800 so this is out of memory problem so what you will do now to execute this since zeros is is uh, taken a lot of memory in your uh, in your ram so you should use some other uh, you if it sparse means that the number of zeros should be greater than number of non zeros in the matrix if this is so then you can you, you should use sparse to save the ram like i cannot i should clear this clear all the variables i will not go beyond this so first is i'll clear all i'll start with the memory command again you can now the memory is same which is earlier and now you can use t is equal to sparse 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 means you have allocating the space i will give this type of space so it will give you a sparse space available this so you can see that it will work same as the zeros uh, but the size is allocated is only 20 bytes 
if you take the two dimensional array like with the different sizes right whose now it will take more since this contains only the one element so size is this but now the element is very large you can see this so it will give taken space this so it means if you use zeros like this same size and uh, variables I'll since I use the same t it's overrated so I use this t1 size is this now you can compare this since both work will the same you can use where, wherever you have zeros you can use sparse there and you can use the sparse algorithms which is available in the MATLAB but you can this huge difference in the so it's better if you use the sparse command but some somewhere sometimes you don't have this type of privilege that number of zeros is more than number of unknowns like if i dealing with the random command now i'll start with this so first is trick is that never use zeros use sparse so second is that if you if you dealing with the random generation function since you you should know that what is the random generation function firstly i clear all this in order to explain you that if you have the random generation function like i will do 10 it means that you will get 10 cross 10 matrix and the each values is is nearly is between 0 and 1 so i'll start with the some bigger one so clear all clc if i have this random command of this and put it enter so it will take a time since random uh, generation is work and since as you can see that if you use whose so this is well, same size 800 MB is already used by this but now you 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 have not a privilege that you can use sparse here so what you will do if you wish to initiate the another variable with this size firstly I check the memory because otherwise you will not compare it you're not able to compare it so what is this I'll start with this and put enter so it is busy on generating this now I write the memory so this you can that same thing happen because reason being we are using the same see number of size is same so we'll dealing with this but now sparse will not work so what you can do so since you are using if you're using the same variable the memory memory is reduced if you want t1 which is same as t use this command it means that now t same same variables are saved in the t1 and if you want more use command so you can see that this much you can see that this is more than the available space available it is and if you check the memory again you will you same memory is left sir memory space so next is thing that which is uh, is the important if you're dealing with the bigger I mean that since you are working with and if I reduce this size like this only the column vector just just for the example so if you have another variable t is easy one is equal to random something like say of different values but of same size and you wish to add it it will remove all the unwanted variables uh, from your uh, code and keep free space for the other variables to save so use clear command wherever you don't uh, in if you don't want the variable in the next step and uh, keep the space for the other variables to save so this is the third you can use the clear but if you want the variables again and again uh, you have the no chance uh, have no option to clear it but you still wish to execute the code uh, full execute without uh, uh, having such type of problem then what you can do the fourth the fourth important tip is using the save command since save command if you use within the code you can save your variables in your workspace or in your text file and then import wherever you want so exporting or importing is important within the code 
if you dealing with the large variables like if i start with this like if you have the several sizes several variables in your key so if you have number of variables in this and you wish to add and you want only s now then it's okay but if you want t1 and t2 and you, your memory is, is you are not left with any memory and you wish to do the code again and again so better is use the save here save use the command you can use this save command and put enter now you can see that in this t1 variable is already been saved and now you can clear it t1 now your memory you are your t1 is removed and you are left you your memories will increase and you can use another variables in order to do such so saving importing and exporting within the code will help you to increase your memory or free your space to make a efficient coding but having the memory and you can see that here mentioned is limited by the contiguous virtual addresses space available so in my case there is a no chance i can increase uh, the memory of this but if you are working with 64 bit or higher workstation uh, there is one option you can uh, manually increase or decrease the uh, space in uh, your for the window and make it available for the matlab so option is that you can directly go to the uh computer gens right properties click on properties then you go the advanced system setting then there is option computer name hardware there is here you can see that virtual memory is there you can click on setting and there is advanced visual data execution prevention is there no need to touch other just directly go to this if you wish to uh, close all the programs you can use this adjust for the better performance and put apply it will change and close all the animate control this and this so that the maximum space is provided to the matlab this is the one of the option third is that advanced option you can see that i have 4 uh, 4 gb ram is available for this which is the total 4 gb is available for my laptop but you can change uh, manually with this by changing this and you can custom and uh, you can write the values which you wish to make available for you this and put it set okay and apply okay so finally i can say that you should keep in mind this this few sparse command the assignment command in your mind when you dealing with the non sparse type of matrices uh, third is clear command you unwanted variables you should clear uh, to make the spaces you can use the save command and last is that Man last thing that you can manually change the virtual memory so this thing you should keep in mind so give your uh, if you like this video so please give your uh, comments uh, and for the more videos please subscribe and thank you thank you very much